Hi, welcome to this video where we will see how to create a high quality targeted prospect list using LinkedIn and help speed up B2B sales. We'll start with some ideas on where to find prospects. We will then look at how to set up a prospecting process to consistently get leads month on month. We will then study the LinkedIn profile of an example of prospect and identify qualities that make it valuable. These qualities, such as keywords that indicate potential need, a progressive personality indicating willingness to new ideas, as well as how recently they've joined, and a few more, will help us to differentiate between valuable profiles and ordinary profiles. We will then find similar high-quality prospects by doing a deep profile search using Google, also called X-ray or Boolean search, and we will see the mechanics of how to do it step by step. Sales is the only thing needed for a business to survive. First, the first step we have to do is to decide where to find our prospects. LinkedIn is probably your best bet. If your business is in need of immediate sales, you should focus on small businesses and prospect more using the people search because SMEs tend to have a shorter sales cycle. You can also use LinkedIn's company search and job search to target specific companies. Company search has the advantage of being able to search by company keywords, and we'll see an example later. Where you find, no matter where you find prospects, it's a good idea to qualify them on LinkedIn by creating a qualifying checklist like so, so that you can create a consistent process and keep refining on it. We will now look at these individual qualities one by one by taking a scenario where we're selling a software to architects, which makes it faster to create 3D views over the prevailing 3DS Max. The most important thing to identify is what keywords indicate potential need for our product. So we study the profile and find keywords that are good here, like 3D design down here and BIM specialist up here. Now let's prospect using LinkedIn and then do an x-ray search. My keyword is BIM specialist and I use quotes to get an exact phrase match. Notice that we get 2,700 odd results. We will see how to use Google to do a deep search on LinkedIn. We have two options. We can do a regular search on google.com and use a site operator to search only LinkedIn. The other option we have is to use a Google custom search engine that have all the features of Google, but have some more advanced options which can help us prospect on LinkedIn more accurately than a regular Google search. And as you can see, a custom search engine is free. So let's visit csc.google.com and then click new search engine. Now we have to tell Google to search LinkedIn profiles by entering linkedin.com under sites to search you can give it a name like linkedin prospector create then we click create you have a couple of options you can either add it to your website or you could just view it by clicking the public url i will show you the same search that we did on linkedin software by using the keyword bim specialist one thing that i like to show you is how to show the results below the search bar instead of in this overlay so i'll click the close button the address bar Go to csc.google.com. I'm going to click LinkedIn Prospector, my search engine. Now let's change the look and feel. So we're given quite a few options for look and feel. So I'm going to select full width, scroll down, and click save. Let's go to the public URL one more time by clicking edit, search engine, by clicking setup, then over here, clicking public URL, and clicking on this link. Let's now see how to do the same search using Google. First, we add site colon linkedin.com slash in to tell Google only to search LinkedIn profiles. Then we add our keyword, then we add BIM specialist. That we get, notice that we get 35,000 odd results, which is a lot more than what we got on LinkedIn, which was around 2,600. And the main reason for this is that Google does a deep search of the entire profile. So we can do this at parentheses followed by our skill or another skill to find prospects that have either of these softwares anywhere in their profile. And then we add minus Revit to exclude prospects that have the software that we're trying to sell. To ensure that we contact decision makers, we add more colon page map, colon person hyphen role, add another colon. Then we can specify our title, such as CEO, comma founder, comma director. And if the title has a space, like vice president, we add a star instead of the space, like so. Sure. And we need to ensure we add the abbreviated form, such as VP, so that we get more prospects. 
To filter prospects for a given country, we can add the country code, such as uk.linkedin.com, to find prospects in the United Kingdom, such as AU, to find prospects in Australia, IR, to find prospects in Iran, IR, www, to find prospects in the United States, just like how we would do it when we search on LinkedIn. To add a location filter, we use more, colon page map, colon person, hyphen location, one, or which can be one or more. When using the location filter, it's a good idea to add the country filter. Let's now compare Google and LinkedIn for the keyword 3D visualizer in the locations Boston or San Francisco. Notice that you get 112 results on Google. Over on LinkedIn, we get 34 results which is about a third of what we got in Google. If you're wondering why, LinkedIn is restricting the results to profiles with the keyword in the current or past titles. Whereas Google will find profiles that have this keyword anywhere in the profile. It doesn't have to be in the title, current or past. So you will end up getting more profiles on Google than you would on LinkedIn, which is amazing. In addition, you can add a title filter using more colon page map, colon person hyphen role to find prospects that are having very precise keywords as well as being decision makers. When you're doing outbound sales, you should build a prospect list that is of high quality and high quantity. We'll now see how to use Google to find prospects that have a progressive personality that might have qualities such as how recently they've joined their current position, or how many recommendations they have, and how active they are on LinkedIn, and so on. I signed out of LinkedIn because Google searches on public profiles, and we'll need to find the right keywords to prospect for our progressive personalities. The first quality to prospect by is to find people who are new to their current position, because it's commonly known people are brought into new positions to make changes, and maybe open to new ideas. I'm going to copy this keyword, present seven months. Let's do our LinkedIn search for current experience in our Google custom search engine. First, we add quotes and paste a string that we just copied from LinkedIn. Now we specify the duration as a range. The starting number, dot dot, and an ending number. So this expression will find us all the prospects who are in their current position from two to 11 months. You just need to add the dot dot and specify whatever range that you require. This expression will find us all the prospects with the current experience under two years. Now, First, we specify prospects with experience under one year. Then we add or. Then add the keyword present one year, which will find us all the prospects with the current experience between one and two years. In addition to specifying the current experience, we can also specify the exact title that we're looking for to find prospects that are new to their current position and also decision makers. Next, we'll find prospects who have public email IDs. This email will always show up in the profile snippet. Let's now look at the query. So we're specifying in-text email, which will make sure that the word email is in the body of the profile. Then we're specifying around 15 followed by in-text column. This ensures that the word email is at a distance of around 15 words with the word com. And what we're getting out of this is a pattern to find that word email that I've highlighted, which has a few words, and then has the ending of a company domain, which can be .com or .co.uk, or .g. which you can change. So if I change this to .co.uk, I have the word email, followed by a few words, which is email ID and the company domain, Okay. Followed by .co.uk. Also note that I've added minus Gmail, minus Yahoo, minus Hotmail. To get profiles that have free email IDs and not the company email IDs, you can do a separate search, adding the free emails, like so. Next, we'll find prospects who are active users of LinkedIn. By using the string post and activity, those who are active on LinkedIn are a bit more social in nature, which means they're a bit more approachable. We can add more, now we can add more filters on top of this, such as this string, to find people who are active on LinkedIn, 
and have at least one recommendation. You can also add a title filter to find decision makers who are active on LinkedIn. If you need to find people who are making posts and not shares or likes, you can use a string more posts, which will find you prospects who are making more than one post, which have highlighted like so. One more thing you can do is specify the number of posts to find people who are very active on LinkedIn. The string will find us people who are making more than 10 posts. Let's now summarize the benefits of using Google over LinkedIn. First, and most importantly, Google does a deep search, so you can use precise keywords and target prospects better than LinkedIn. Secondly, Google searches on public profiles, which means that you can get full names and basic information of everybody, not just those in your first or second degree, like you would on LinkedIn. Third, Google can help you to advance prospecting, which you cannot do using LinkedIn. And best of all, Google is free, and there are no monthly search limits. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in a free session of how to use Google Custom Search Engine, please sign up on the Calendly link.